Hey guys, what's going on? This is Drop Hazard. Welcome to the video. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make your Twitch streams just a little bit better with uh, the linking and all that. And just making your stream look better overall. So, first let's bring up my, uh, my stream here. Hang on, let me get it real quick. Now, oops, hang on, actually. That's muted. All right, most people like to go to their dashboard when they stream, but with this, you can't really see all of your tiles down below and all that. And for the purpose of this video, I've got to go do that. So let me just go to my channel and set up the dashboard. And here you can see how I have my little background picture here, and then I have the tiles down below. So it's about me, Twitter, YouTube, Overlay, fellow streamers, which I'm going to update that in this video because I haven't updated it in a while. And I would recommend updating all of your, your panels, not tiles, your panels, is that a panels? I would recommend updating your panels about once a week, or if you're really good at about it, go ahead and update your, t your panels, not tiles, your panels, update your panels right before you stream every time when you stream. That's so that way your, your panel is always up to date. But, I'm going to show you in this video how to get this picture on your stream, how to get the tiles and how to make these pictures look good. Instead of just having this blank and this blank. And I'm also going to show you how to make these buttons here so people can click on them. And these are just words you're going to click on them. For this you can click on. I'm taking this off. Let me go back real quick. I'm going to show you how to do that, and I'm also going to show you how to put your Twitch and how to connect it to your YouTube, your Twitter, all that kind of stuff like that. So let's get started, shall we? All right, so first off, what you're going to want to do is for these pictures right here, what I do is I go to flamingtext.com. Did I spell that right? Yeah, I did. Here it goes right here. Flamingtext.com, and then for mine, I do believe you know, I have it on blood. And then type in whatever you want the category of the of your panel to be. So for this, I'm gonna put up a new panel and call it Stream Schedule. Stream Schedule. Go ahead and make this whatever you want it to be. And then out of color, I want to make that white. So it looks like that, which is how I have all these set up. And then, how do I have that? I think that background is clear. So we go to background, transparent. Then whatever you post this on, it'll like have the back of it clear. And just have the words showing. Let's go ahead and go to create logo, personal use, and go ahead and go to download. There it is. So let me go ahead and put this up on my computer and I'll be back in one second. All right, now that we have that done, let's go into here. Here you can post. Let's go ahead, add an image, and where is it at? Right here. Go ahead and crop that all the way out. There we have a stream schedule. If you want to put a link to anything, like I have up here, like my Twitter, just click on the on the picture, I'm going to go straight to my Twitter, and then I also have it down below what my Twitter is. And pretty much you got this set up like this. If you can read that better, I don't know if you can. That's how I have to do it. The first part of what you want the button to say, and then the second part for the link. If you want to have that down in your chat. Let me just go ahead and put in my stream schedule. Oh, when you're doing this, if you want to actually, like you can't just push uh, 
enter and then have the thing the line move down you actually have to type in five times and then press enter and then it'll go down the line and where am I at I think it moved over hold on alright survey Right, you know, go ahead and submit that and then come up here and there you got the stream schedule now I did tell you guys that you have to put the spaces and since I didn't put the spaces here it all went into one yeah like this is all spaced out so let's get back into here Submit, come back up here, see what it looks like. Yeah, it's all spaced out now. So you gotta remember that you do and you'd have to space those out. For those of you that do not know, this is my streaming schedule and it's now official. There we go. Then let me go ahead and add some people like uh Let's go ahead and add J Knight. Sorry for the train in the background, it always comes up whenever I'm trying to record or stream. Otherwise, you never hear the freaking thing. So even he has stuff set up. Pretty good. I like the picture, by the way. So let me go ahead, get his uh, link here. Let me come down here where it is for the streamers. Alright, now this is how you, ha you have to do it this way in order for it to look like a button and work like a button. Alright, let's get this link in here. Paste. Alright. And there's Jay Knight. Click on it. There you go. Did he get 100 followers? He got 102. Nice. I think I got 208. Yep, 208. Sweet. Alright. Um, let's go ahead and show you guys how to edit this. Like here in a couple minutes, I'm going to be uh, streaming myself editing this video. So I'm not, I'm not going to be playing any games, and then in the title of it, I can not, there. Oops. Did I spell that right? No, I did not. There, much easier. There we go. Title, and the game is updated. Although I'm not even playing game. All right. Let's go to this. There we go. This is my bio. I just put. I also make videos on YouTube. That's my YouTube link. Go ahead and edit that. Make it whatever that you want it that you want it to be for your Twitch channel. Missing required grammar bio. Really? I messed that up. Actually, let me see if that'll work. How it did before. Uh, wait. There. Did that work? No, does it? All right. Oh, well, there you go. Now you know that. <laughs> All right, there you go. That's that. 
And then, where your uh, I talked to you about Papa too. This is gonna be for this picture right here for when you're offline and every picture that's displayed. Oops. Go into here, go to profile, change profile banner, that's what you want it to be. Click on the upload image, go to your pictures, and you can pick all your pictures out. Maybe you want it to be and then you're not to crop it, put it into how you want it. And you have a background color as well. I'm just showing it right here. I also have all this stuff on the side of your profile as well. And then for your uh, your channel icon or your channel picture, I have it the same as this. Gotta go to profile, I do no that's not it. <laughs> I'll get it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I do believe it's in settings. Here, settings. There you go, picture. Remove my picture. You can go ahead, choose whatever picture that you want it to be. I think it's down here somewhere. There, right there it is. And there you go, that's how you do that. I guess you can also edit your bio right here. Put your name, email. Whatever you gotta do. There's real feather. Alright. That is how you do that. Hopefully that helped you guys a little bit. And you did have a uh what is like a background picture where it'll show like a picture back behind all this. And I think they got rid of it. I don't really know. I don't see it anymore. But let's go ahead. And show you guys what will help you a lot. So let me go ahead, pull up my YouTube, my channel. The only thing that'll help you a lot is you know if you if you help if you help out other people, in return they should help you out. I'm hoping. That's not what I wanted. about what you're telling guys you leave comments for the channel and help out check out some friends channels that you have gamer insanity up and then come back to my channel whenever people look at my channel that game for the train here's my friends channels for youtube like i said if you have them out they'll help you out in return and here pretty soon i'll have this video going up on my channel which will be pretty neat um, I might do a, a video later about showing you guys how to pay, post good uh, this stuff here on YouTube. But right now, that may be a later video if you guys do request it. I don't really know. <coughs> Actually, out of that, bring up my Twitter real quick. Let me just go through this real quick. Um. Bring up my Twitter. All right, bring up my Twitter real quick. And that was from yesterday. Thank God it's Friday. That is actually one of my friends that streams. <laughs> so let me just go to home. And then we got this. God damn it! How do I edit that? Hmm. How do I edit this stuff? I don't even know what I'm doing. Here we go. Edit profile. That might be it. Alright, so there you go. Your photo, your background, your header, actually. I'm just going to leave it as that. It looks pretty damn neat. Alright. It's your website, which I have a link to my YouTube. Actually, I'm going to link it to my Twitch. So let me grab the thing right now. There, it's linked to my Twitch. And I'm not seeking employment anymore. So let's go ahead and put this. Alright. Uh, Alright, let's see if that changed it. I use Twitter Deck a lot more than the actual Twitter. <laughs> Ready, Jay? Wow. 
Modern After Kill. Here's a really good stream. Go check him out. And there's his YouTube. And there's right, just go follow him. He's pretty awesome. Uh, all right, last thing on Twitch.tv. Drip Hazard. We did also Sunday nights to place videos on YouTube. Boom. There we go. Has the best background ever on Twitter. You know why? That's his background. <laughs> Generation generated. Go ahead and go leave him a twatter. Uh, a twatter. A follow. Follow at Twitch. Go ahead and check out his website. Go ahead and do all that good shit. There you go. Ain't he pretty? <laughs> Alright. So there you go. And then also, um, I'd say for streaming, let me go ahead and show you guys this real quick. You want to get some uh, inception here going on? Go ahead and post that right in the video, right in the middle. And just go ahead and. Holy shit, that's weird. <laughs> let's go ahead and make this bigger real quick. So, if you can see, like right here, there you can see where my mouse is. <laughs> Alright. Before it's up like this, you're going to want to uh, go ahead and show you this real quick. Whoa, hang on. Why did everything change? I don't want the monitor capture in there. Let me go ahead and remove that. And there you have that. So, here, if you know the, the symbol for it, I'm using the Elgato. It costs about 150 bucks, maybe 200. I don't know. You have to look at the price. I got the Elgato, which costs about 150 bucks, and then I also have the Blue Stoneball microphone, which is about 50 bucks. So it's 200 bucks, and then you also want a decent streaming computer. That way, it'll handle everything, like all your programs, and then it'll also handle handle your internet. If you also want decent internet, I'd say about five megabits. Of upload which I only have 1.1 that's why my streams aren't really that great of quality but you can still make out what's going on all right guys after me messing up my recording because I actually had it back on here instead of having it back over on here and so you just saw my uh, my little Elgato symbol up there instead of my actual monitor here which is what I wanted to show you but I messed it up so what I was saying is like if you look back on my streams on twitch.tv slash drop password if you, if you go to my uh, profile here the past broadcast if you look at my ones from like um, like six days ago all of my stuff was really pixelated and I couldn't really figure out why so I got to playing around Pretty much what you gotta do is go into video, and I was trying to stream up in 1080p, but in order to fix it, because my stream upload is only like a 1.1, and for in, in order to stream in 1080p, you, you need like a a 5 megabit upload at least. But I only have a 1.1, so I only stream in a resolution of about there. I only stream with like 700 megabits. There. 700 kilobits or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. It's just small ones, but uh, I put it down on 2.2. It's 480p and it made things a lot better. It wasn't so pixelated. I let me go back onto that for this video. So there's that. And then let, hang on, let me talk about my mods real quick. What mods can do is really awesome. If you have a mod in here right now, let me help in, helping me out. We're showing you guys what mods can do. It's really cool. And one very important thing, if you are doing the song song record song request, if I can learn how to talk, which is a big thing that I have on my channel, is, is people can people can come in and post songs that they want to hear. So let me actually pull up Nightbot real quick. There you go. We got Nightbot. What do I? Oh, I got that going. All right. This is actually that's a song request. Let me go ahead and go to Nightbot. To put in Nightbot, you actually have to log in. 
have to request it, and it's really easy. It, it's, not, it's not like you won't get, you won't not get Nightbot or anything. It's free, so go ahead and get Nightbot. You can do song requests and all that cool stuff, and go ahead and click join. And yeah, obviously, he's already in my stream. But uh, we go ahead and get him out of my channel, and then have him join the channel. Please wait 30 seconds before you do this button again. Really? <laughs> Alright, I go so now. I'll be back in 30 seconds. <laughs> Alright, there you go. And Nightbot should be showing up on my channel here pretty soon. There you go, there's Nightbot. And then, custom commands. There's all my custom commands and all that. It's really cool with Nightbot because you can have stuff pretty neat. So let me go ahead. Back to the song request. Auto DJ is what you want. Let me go ahead and pause that real quick. And if you don't have any songs that are being requested, let me go ahead and go ahead and play other songs requested by or in other streams. You just get rid of these songs. So let me just go ahead. Actually, I'm gonna bring up a video real quick. You have to go to YouTube or uh, I think Spotify will work also. Go ahead and type in a song name. Let's go ahead and go, uh, go ahead and get shotgun real quick. Get the link. Oh shit, how did burp come away to come? Alright, so go ahead and type in song request. And then put the link to the video. And there you go. Give Nightbot a second. He'll get it. And there you go. You gotta call the shotgun. Or not the shotgun, but the shotgun. Go ahead and go to the next song. There you go. You got shotgun going. And then, for mine, I also have it set up. Oops. Where is... Custom commands. I also have it set up where... Actually, let me talk about this real quick. Come back soon at user at. It's whenever somebody types in like uh, BRB in the chat, I bring back. Come back soon, and then I'll have their name up. And then that's pretty cool. And then you also have a uh, song request, which is a alias song request. I didn't know how to do that. Actually, one of my mods did that. Pretty neat. The same thing as song request, but all they had to type in. It's actually much point. Song or SR, and then let's go ahead and stick with Yellow Claw. Did you turn it up? Awesome song. Go ahead and get that going on. Oops. And there you go. Same thing as Star Quest. Only it's shorter for people. Makes things a lot easier. You got the same thing. Like the auto DJ. And there's DJ turned up. And there you go. And then what I ha what I do is because I'm busy streaming, so I can't really don't have the time to go ahead and type in the YouTube stuff. So what I have my mods do. I do have a couple mods, and specifically there's three of them, actually four of them, that make really good song requests. And they do really good songs, so let me go ahead and have him make a song request really quick. Which, <laughs> I have to give him a minute, see if he's paying attention. There you go. And you can also sort shorten it from the YouTube, just get the... Uh, after the equals, go ahead and copy that. And, uh, really? Seriously, Jay.
that face up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> God damn it! Really? <laughs> All right. Another thing is that Ninebot would do if you have a setup. I don't actually set I don't actually have a setup. Have a setup. So Gary's gonna do it. But if somebody comes in and posts like some random porn link or anything like that, you can have like a uh, hang on. Like if somebody comes in and posts random porn link dot com, which that's actually not a porn link, but uh. You can go ahead and uh, your mods and also Nightbot. See, that's a no no. He knows. <laughs> so, what he's going to do is go ahead and he's going to purge me. And there you go. Now, since I'm the streamer and uh, the broadcaster, and also moderators can't get timed out, which is a moderator, so I can't purge him. I gotta go ahead and purge him real quick. Normally that would get rid of all of his stuff, but it didn't because he's a moderator and also it didn't get rid of that because I am the broadcaster. And then uh actually, if you guys don't know, like uh my thing here is black. It's not white because I actually have better twitch.tv. Which let me go to Chrome Store. Just type in better twitch. There better better TTV and then go ahead and download that and then you get all this cool stuff that you get. It's actually not let me customize my stuff. Or is it? No, there you go. You got all that emotes and all that which actually lets you do like this, it'll also let you also let you do that. And then stuff like this. And also the Kappa face. And then you can get a darkened TDV, which changes it from white over to black. Pretty neat. I like it better like this. It looks better, in my opinion. And there you go ahead. You got that. That's pretty much all the stuff that you need to know about Twitch, other than getting decent internet, um, the Elgato, decent mic, and then a nice big computer, which my computer actually costs about $3,000. It's really overpriced and I don't really need all that stuff because it's actually built for gaming and it's built to handle like AAA games like Call of Duty Battlefield, uh, Bo Borderlands 2 with FedEx and all that really awesome stuff, which I don't even play games on, on my PC because I'm just not really good with mouse and keyboard. I know that you can get game pads for it, but I just... <laughs> I'm a console gamer. I have PlayStation 3 and an Xbox One. If you want to, go ahead and add me. There you go. Xbox One. Game Tag is this drop hazard. PS3, drop hazard. Feel free to add me. There you go. And, uh, there you go. That's that. I hope this guy's helped you out a little bit. If it did, feel, if it did, feel free to leave a comment down below. And, uh, actually go ahead and Check me out on Twitch. Yeah, all the links will be down in the description for my Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, all that good stuff. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope this, guy, I hope this video has helped out. I'll see you guys in the next video. This has been Drop Out. If you have some magic on you, see you in the next video. Later, guys. I'm out. Peace. See ya.